In this video, I'll be discussing how to submit your CM1 and CM2 paper B of Excel to IFOA. So let's start. So suppose I'm considering CM1 paper. So they have said that you are given the question paper and the Excel file. So you can see uh, the Excel file is given and attempt all question. Each question is to be answered in the allocated tab. So what is there? Suppose this is a sheet I can show you. So this was the sheet provided for CM1B September term. And you can see there are allocated tabs, question 1, part 1, question 1, part 2, 1, part 3 and so on for each question. So you have to work according to each part allocated in the question. Okay. So suppose if you see there is this question of 1 where 1 part A and B is there but they have only marked question 1, part 1. So part A and B you can do both in the same sheet over here. Okay. Similarly, for part 2, if you see, come down, part 2, there is this part which is made, for part 3, there is this part which is made, and so on. So, you can see part 3, there are A, B, C, you can help calculate all the three parts in the same sheet. Okay, there will be headers, they can be headers which are given to you on the sheet, they cannot, they can be blank Excel files, but you need to work on the Excel file provided by them. That is mandatory and the way it is provided. One thing which is mandatory is the final solution sheet of this answer, clubbing all the answers of what parts you have calculated for each part. Similarly, for question 2 it is given and so on. How many questions are pre pre present in the paper? You have to see that and do it. Okay, this was the first part. After you solve it, the, this part is not mandatory but they have said it that you need to insert ARN in your header and footer, uh, header or the footer. So how do you insert header or footer in Excel is just go to this second view. If you see this is the second view and you can see there is this portion. Th this part enters the header. Okay. This part enters the header and you can write your ARN, num ARN number in this header and footer. You must be seeing that the sheet has got broken. But once you enter the header, you can come back to the normal view. Maybe it is not seen. Okay. But one, if a person can go in this way and see it will be seen. Your AR in this there. This is not that mandatory, but one thing which is mandatory is the naming of the file. The naming of the file must contain the ARN number. So first it should contain your ARN. Then it should contain the paper which you are appearing for, that is CM1B, and then the session which you are appearing for. So if you are appearing for September 20, you will write 0920. You can write 092020 also. It will work. Okay, so ARN, your ARN number, which is mandatory, the first part, underscore the CM1B or CM2B, whichever you are appearing for, and your this. This is a mandatory thing. This has to be there in your sheet. Even if you forget to give the header, that will not matter. But this is one thing which you cannot miss out, writing the ARN in, uh, in the file name of your submission. Okay, this is very, very important. The only key points in submitting Excel file is this only. You have to work in their excel file you have to work in the allocated tabs given by them and you have to name your file with your arn number the paper you are appearing for and the session you are appearing in okay that's the most important point points we need to work when submitting a file to ifoa thank you